me. Listen to me, I am not completely crazy. But you need to calm down, Paul, or they're not gonna let me stay. Just... I want to get you home. I need to protect you. You don't have to protect me. Not anymore. James is dead. He won't ever hurt us again. You have no idea what he's capable of. Hey, please, we gotta get out of here. Okay, I'll go get your nurse. No, 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 please, please. Stay. Just stay here. I'll be right back. I promise. Come on, Paul, think. The only way you're gonna convince these people that you're not crazy is to quit acting like you are. Get off my bed. You're not real. I know that. I know you're dead. Well, maybe to the rest of the world I'm dead, Paul, but in your mind, I'm alive and well for as long as you need me. Well, then you can go, because I don't need you. Mm -hmm. I never did. Mm -hmm. You and I both know that's not true. You're weak, Paul. You've been cuddled by women all of your life. Way too much. First your mother, now men. Wait, wait, you want to you spend your life like this? Shackled up? Popping pills? You want your child to grow up? Hey, you stay away like from that. my child. Good. Well, then you get it together. Take control of yourself once. I am in control of myself. Stop laughing at me! Paul, how are you feeling, Mr. Ryan? I'm fine. Just, I, I got a little frustrated. I'm sorry. It, it won't happen again. I could give him a sedative. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want a sedative. I just... I, I want you near me, please. You sure that's what you want? Yes. Come on, Meg, I've been praying for you to be close to me for so long, and here you are, so please, I don't want you to leave the room again. Okay, you, you know what? Um, I will let you know if there's a problem, but I really don't think there will be any problem. So what did they do with James's body? I don't know. I didn't ask. And Dusty, how's he? He's fine. Yeah. Is he here in the hospital? No. Do you know where he is? I don't know where he is right now. Are they going to arrest me for shooting him? No, they're not. Dusty made sure that won't happen. Oh. Does that make him a hero? I need to get out of here. You'll be out of here soon enough. We are a nurse. Isn't there something you can do to kind of speed it up? Let me talk to Bob. If it's a matter of just regulating your medication, I could do that at home. Okay, I'll see what he says. Okay. That'd be great. Very nicely done. Now there may be hope for you yet. I know you're anxious to bring Paul home. I can handle it. I, I really can. You're taking on a great responsibility. Paul is my husband, and I'm a nurse. Who is better qualified to take care of him? What if he has another episode? He won't. And even if he does, I, if I see any sign of trouble, I will bring him back here. You have my word. I don't know. Bob, Paul was fine before his father came back. James tortured him emotionally and physically, but James is gone now. Man, what the damage he did is anything but. Look, Paul didn't just snap. He had a psychotic break. And his behavior has been erratic. Violent, even. Okay, look. I'll make sure he takes his medication and any therapy that he needs. But I know my husband. And I know he's going to be better off at home. <laughs> you know. You've gotten yourself in quite a mess, Paul. Do you think Dustin would fall apart over a woman like this? If you are so obsessed with Dusty, why don't you go haunt him? Dustin's his own man. He doesn't need my help. What is it going to take to get you to just leave me alone? Hey. Guess what? You are going home. Sit down over here. What? You're the one who's supposed to be staying up for your feet. 
Uh, actually, I saw Dr. Schiller the other day, and she said the baby and I are perfectly fine. So why don't you sit down, and I will join you after I get us both a little something. No, 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 you're not making me anything to eat. There, there, there's a staff. There's <laughs> someone else to do. Oh, wow, you're that afraid of my cooking. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll just tell them what to make. Okay. Meg. Get the hell out of my house. I thought they had you strapped to a bed somewhere. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Make it easier for you to move in on my wife. I'm not after your wife. I knew you'd show up here for her eventually. You're never gonna get your hands on her. You keep acting like this, you're gonna send you back to the nut house. Leave right now, or I will kill you, Dusty, with my bare hands. Bare hands? Oh. What are you doing? Put that down. What is he doing? Bro, what are you thinking? Why is he here? Why is he in my house? Maybe they released him too soon. Frank, does he stop? Oh, wait, you're not surprised to see him? You knew he was in town? Yes, because I called him. You called him? Look, I didn't have a choice. Marco knew there had been a shooting in the lighthouse, and she was all over me. She saw that I was covering something up, and she threatened to send me to jail. Right, so you call Dusty, and he comes running to your rescue. Yeah, I wanted to keep your wife from going to jail. She'd be nice to her. She's been through a lot. Don't you tell me how to treat your wife. I want you out of here. Get out of here. Dusty, please go. You gonna be okay? Get out! Nothing to worry about with Dusty. I don't want to talk about Dusty. I love you, Paul. Dusty is not a threat. That's just what James wanted you to believe. It's got nothing to do with James. Uh, yes, it does. For whatever reason, he pitted you and Dusty against each other. He called him your enemy, and he's not. Please don't let James win. I just want to focus on us and the baby. Can we do that? Please? You and this baby mean everything to me. You're my whole world. And I love you. I love you too. Get some rest, I promise, Bob, okay? I'm gonna call Barbara and tell her you're home. I told you she wasn't over, Donovan. You go away. You better face reality, Paul. Your wife invites Dustin into your home. She asks him for help, and you allow it. Should I kill that man when you had the chance? Next, as the world. Go put on a pretty dress. We've been invited to the party of the year. Oh. This is James Stenbeck, and this is my last will and testament.